Oh my word, my friends. I am so excited because I picked up the Dark Heart Tarot and the Gentle Heart Tarot, both by Vanessa Semina, who is a creator on YouTube, and I will link her channel down below. And illustrations are by Anna Bastos. So let's get started at looking at these tarot decks I am pumped. Okay, so when you first open the box, it says, I am loved, I am worthy. Then you have a ribbon to get your deck out. And they are wrapped in cellophane, so I am going to unwrap them, and I will be right back. But we get a beautiful guidebook that goes with the tarot deck as well. All right, I took the uh, cellophane off, and here is the rose gold foiling on the edges. And what is interesting is these cards are not in order. Okay, so let's go ahead and thumb through them. We have the Ace of Crystals first, Eight of Crystals, Five of Crystals, Four of Crystals. Here is the King of Crystals, Knight of Crystals, Nine of Crystals. Page of Crystals, ooh, Queen of Crystals, beautiful. I love that one. Seven of Crystals, Six of Crystals, Ten of Crystals, Three of Crystals, Two of Crystals. And then it looks like we move on to the cups. It's like they were pre-shuffled by <laughs> suit. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's interesting. Next, we have the Ace of Cups. And you know what? I'm going to bring you guys down a bit so you're closer to the cards. The Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, which is gorgeous, Four of Cups, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, and then we are on to the Diamonds. So... The suit of diamonds is probably the suit of coins or the suit of pentacles. And then the suit of crystals is probably the suit of wands. I'm guessing. So we have the ace of diamonds. Ooh, the eight of diamonds, which is really good. The five of diamonds. The four of diamonds. The King of Diamonds, the Knight of Diamonds, the Nine of Diamonds, which is just gorgeous. I love that one. <laughs> Can you hear the puppy dog playing in the background? The Page of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, the Seven of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds. And then the Ten of Diamonds. Which has two majestic puppy dogs on the card. 
the three of diamonds, the two of diamonds, and then we are on to the suit of swords. This is the ace of swords, the eight of swords, the five of swords, the four of swords, the king of swords, the knight of swords, the nine of swords, the page of swords, the queen of swords, which is gorgeous. I love the queens in this deck. The seven of swords, six of swords, ten of swords, three of swords, which is an intense card in this deck, too. Okay, the two of swords. And then it looks like we are on to the final suit of cards, which is the major arcana. And it does not look like they are in order either because we start with the death card, which is gorgeous, right? Judgment. Justice, strength, which I love that one. Temperance, the chariot, the devil, the emperor, the empress. Ah, oh, the fool. So pretty. The hanged man, the hermit. The Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Lovers, the Magician, the Moon, the Star, the Sun, Ooh, the Tower, the World, and finally, the Wheel of Fortune. So, I love this deck. I already know. I don't want to shuffle right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and shuffle them to see how they shuffle. Why not? Oh, very nice. Okay, this is our card, you guys, the Ace of Crystals. Now, let's look up what it says in the guidebook, which is also rose gold foiled on the edges. Wow, I love this. All right, the Ace of Crystals, you're beaming, filled to the brim with creative energy. You are ready to step into a new project. Typical for this number, the ace represents a fresh beginning wrapped with numerous opportunities to bring you positive outcomes. This is a fabulous card that implies you are given a lot of freedom to try new things and see what works best for you. Whether it be a new hobby, a fun project, or trying your luck in a brand new business venture, now is the time to follow your passions. Cute. I love it, and I love that the deck is pink and has rose gold foiling on it. It is awesome. So, let's look at the Dark Heart Tarot deck next, which I'm also very excited for. All right. Oh, my gosh. So, do you see the foiling on the edges of this deck? That is amazing. I don't have any other deck that's like that. I don't have any other deck that has rose gold foiling either. But this is just top notch. So beautiful. And check out the guidebook. Does the guidebook have the edge? Oh my gosh, yes. So pretty. You guys, okay, let's go through this deck, which looks like it is in order. So we may go a little bit faster, and I may just uh, scooch you guys up. 
in order for me to be able to do so. Are you ready? We have the Fool. And also, do you not like it when I'm announcing what each card is? Like, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> so, I'll just quit that. And oh my gosh, do you see? There's the foiling on the cards as well. That's amazing. Mm. Just beautiful. You know what? I like this deck more, honestly. It's pretty. And I think I may have been able to get a different version of the Gentle Heart Tarot deck, but I kind of wanted the original. Do you know what I mean? Like, there may have been a deck that has, like, the rose gold foiling on the cards themselves. Um, but I'm not sure. It has it on the back of the cards, too, you guys. <laughs> Over the top. Just beautiful. Oh, I love the Justice card. Ooh, pretty. So, I was thinking, you know, this deck is to be used for, like, when you're doing readings on, like, your shadow self or stuff like that, right? Or maybe things hidden in the shadows and stuff. And then the pink one for more light-hearted readings, you know? So gorgeous. I love that one, too. I give both of the decks, though, honestly, just five out of five stars. I suspect that this deck will be just as smooth when you shuffle. And I'm kind of scared to shuffle this one so as to not mess up this pattern, right? Ugh, I don't know. I may skip that, you guys. <laughs> but let's show you each and every beautiful card before, um, oh yeah, they're still in order. I was like, uh, did this just go out of order? But no, it did not. Oh no, his arm is hurt. Look at the Ten of Crystals. Ugh, I feel like Atlas sometimes holding up the world on my shoulders. Don't we all? Ooh, that's nice too. Mm. Just so beautiful. I love that. The hair spilling down. Mm. Well, you guys, what do you think of these decks? Tell me in the comments. I love them. I know they're going to be some of my go-to decks from now on. Pretty. Mm, I remember that card in the other deck. All right, there's the final one, the King of Pentacles. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and I'm kind of excited to just go and play with these cards for a bit. 
So I'm going to let you go here. But y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.